Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why certain YouTubers, Tolarian Weds and others, do not speak openly out against, well, I guess speak openly for background checks on judges in local game stores. It has a lot to do with money, as most things in life do. So I ha own an agency. We are, you know, we're a happy agency as a startup. I have been very fortunate in being able to be part of an agency that was sold for a large sum of, fig of money. And I decided, hey, I'm just gonna do it and I'm gonna be the boss. So we have an incredible team and I treat them like human beings. I treat them like my friends. I wouldn't hire you unless you, I thought we could be good friends because we work a lot of hours together. We do those, oh, it's called an escape room. I was kept saying it was a mystery room in the last video, but it's an escape room. We do escape rooms, we go hiking. It's a really great place to work. For every single job, we get about 500 applicants. I'm not kidding. If you went on my LinkedIn, you would see why. So I'm not gonna screenshot my LinkedIn here because that's kind of creepy for me. But uh, on my LinkedIn, I'm pretty popular. I have more, I have way more followers on, and that's what they call it, on LinkedIn than I do on YouTube and this channel. So what's happening in the news is Buggy is able to speak out. There's two types of people in our community. The type of people who can speak out because they're not WPN stores. They're not gonna be band hammered by Wizard of the Coast. They're not sponsored by Wizard of the Coast. Those people cannot speak out because it looks like they're biting the hand that feeds them. Now, the people who have been speaking out, like HQ, like Boogie, they're not in any relation, they don't care about the money or the free products. I have never received a free product ever from Wizard of the Coast. They offered, Hasbro, not Wizards, Hasbro offered to take me to dinner anywhere, dinner and drinks anywhere I wanted in Houston. And I was like, oh, and I actually, I think I committed to a, but I didn't like, I, I suggested a, I was like, oh, even this place, which is like the most expensive place in Houston. And they said yes. And I just didn't do it because I felt like that would make me biased. Now, a lot of you are saying people can receive free plane tickets, free product, and not be biased. BS that. BS that. Okay, let me put it this way for you. If I gave you $100,000, no matter how much, or let's say that you are MTG headquarters, you hate the dude, but the dude gives you $100,000 for free. No strings attached. Even if you hate him, you're gonna feel good because now you have $100,000, right? So free product is like that, except a little bit different, that it is product for free. Like anything to influence Tolarian Community College to give you a better letter grade from the store perspective, they will do, right? Because they're gonna sell a ton. According to Weds from the Mano Source, Tolarian Community College, this was four years ago, if he were to make a video on your monthly crate box, you would get $5,000. And it's true, because the monthly magic box, which Tolarian Community College made seven to eight videos on, most of them being positive, the large majority of those videos were positive videos saying that this is good for casual players. And all the casual players joined in, that netted them $20,000 still sitting in a bank account collecting money till this day. And I have evidence of that. Yes, I have evidence of that. So let's go back to why this is so interesting in terms of burning everything down. The P, there's, there's two sides. There's the side that Wizard of Coast is paying money towards. And there's a side that people either are not WPNs, don't own stores, and are independently have jobs. If your livelihood depends on Magic the Gathering, you will never, you will never attack Wizards of the Coast. Because attacking them means you don't get a card to spoil. Attacking them means you don't get free product, free plane tickets, free events, free has cons, whatever you want. And you get in the blacklist that Jeremy currently is under. Remember, Jeremy actually used to be on the good boy list where he received free product. That's why he got the two cards to spoil. And that one dude, I forget what his name was, 
from Magic was like, oh man, this is an epic mistake. I can't believe this happened. And he, he just threw, he just ran Jeremy over with his ice cream truck. Apparently, all these people in Wizards of the Coast own ice cream trucks. Now I get why. It makes a lot of sense now. Ice cream trucks. If you see an ice cream truck, it's probably owned by a Wizards of the Coast employee. Anyway, back to my story, original story. So Jeremy used to be on the list where he gets cards to spoil, he gets some free product, and then he was taken off the list because he was critical. And that was the end of that. But those people, Weds, Tolarian, they were still on that list. Still being fed. No way they go against them. No way. And you might be like, oh, MTG Lion, are you afraid that Tolarian will make a video about you? That Wedge would make a video? No, they're not going to make a video. They can barely make videos about card quality. That was two, it has been happening for two years. By the time they make a video about MTG Lion, I'll be retired. I mean, maybe they're starting the video today. That's why the video on Jeremy is so unique, because everything I know about Tolarian is it takes him a long time to make a video, like Pico Trade video, monthly Magic Box video. Those things took forever for him to get together and make. So I'm not afraid that Wedge, and Wedge never even made a video about HQ, although he said that on Twitter he would, exposing him. No, like it takes these people, I don't know what the problem is, because I make videos, and yes, my quality of video isn't very high, but it's just me talking to you guys. Can't they just make videos talking without being fake? Remember, editing, if you edit your, okay, I'll put it this way. I don't edit any of my videos, so it's really hard. What you, what you hear is what you get in real life, for the most part. Yeah, I make two videos a day. Uh, they tend to be about 10 minutes of video, so you hear me for about 20 minutes of your day if you enjoy my channel. And eventually, after hearing me for 20 minutes, Every single day for the last four years, you know what I like, you know what I dislike, you know I'm a big fan of Fate, I'm a big fan of Fire Emblem. Like, you already know these things about me. I don't know anything about Tolarian, and neither do you. You're not his best friend. He's not your best friend. Like, the story goes, and I was, I saw this in his stream, or something that, like, maybe he was on Twitch. Some guy donated $5,000, uh, his basement flooded, and then some guy donated $5,000 on Patreon, which is a monthly program, right, for him to fix his basement. I don't know if he declined it or if he was a child or something like that, but what would... Yes, I know some Magic players are quite wealthy, but it just... And I'm not supposed to tell people what to do with their money. I get that. If you want to buy boxes, buy boxes. If you want to donate to... Wedge or Tolarian, donate to Wedge and Tolarian. That's none of my business. But from a marketing perspective, wow. That is a way over client. That is a way over client. I mean, that is incredible that someone would donate $5,000 based on a personality where they see that person maybe twice a week. They watch their video two times a week. <laughs> that's incredible that is incredible and I'm not going to say that it was wrong for him to donate $5,000 I'm not going to say it, I was either five or $6,000 it was some huge sum of money for Tolarian to fix his basement and my gosh of all the things you can do with $5,000 uh, most Magic players they Maybe they don't, I would imagine the majority of Magic players and, ma and the majority of you listening today do not make $5,000 a month because the average salary in Houston is around $42,000 annual. So it comes down to um, $3,000, $4,000 a month, $3,000 after tax or less. So for someone to straight up donate that money or even consider donating that money is a very, very good marketing plan. Uh, it's... So my background is in legal and marketing, and I know what these people are doing. I know why there's certain words that Tolarian uses and he doesn't use. I run last 180 days, last 90 days, I ran $2 million in just AdWords with Google 
and then another probably one million on Facebook. So I do a million dollars in advertise ad spend a month. And we co- we test, we A, B, copy test. But I don't do that with you guys because I don't really care I, until now, I guess. So I've never really used the expertise on my channel except in very, very vague, lazy ways. But I can tell you that the, Ma- the Manosaurus and Tularian Community College, they're very similar to marketers. How they, portray- especially can I have a dollar? That video is so well edited, so well phrased, so well scripted. That and he's an English teacher to boot. Of course, someone's going to give him five thousand dollars. I knew that would be the outcome because I'm in, I do marketing. Um, sometimes I do marketing for charities. Uh, we have a lot of Google events, and most people who go to Google events are actually nonprofit charities. So when we do that, I know what words they say and what language they use, and I know how they appeal to get you know donations. And it's very similar to what Tolarian did. And can I have a dollar? And if you watch that video closely. I really hope he doesn't take it down because it's an interesting marketing video. It's very well made for its purpose. So it starts off at I lost I just lost my job. Can I have a dollar? Language is incredibly simple. The dollar, the give is, you know, the front door. You always hear about salespeople. Once the salesperson gets, you know, their foot in the door, then they can sell you some other packages, right? The vacuum salesperson back in the day. Very common sales technique. But the I just lost my job is very compelling. It's simple to understand. And it doesn't actually highlight the realities of what happened, in my opinion. So it's not as just simple. I just lost my job. He was a part time professor. And then he either, depending on how you construe it, he either was fired, maybe he wasn't doing a good job. Who knows? But why would he not continue being a YouTuber and still being being a community college professor? Previous videos, he kind of discouraged people. He said that, you know, being a community college professor was bad or it wasn't good and his life was difficult. That is not a video. Like if my if Sophie started making videos about how shitty her life was at the comp- at my company, I would be a little concerned. I'd be like, okay, Sophie, like sit down here. Do you want to tell me? Are you going to T-Mobile, Amy? Amy, are you going to be with T-Mobile? Uh, <laughs> I gave Amy her recommendation to T-Mobile. I wanted her to go because uh, she comes from an Asian family, and therefore it's important for her to have a stable job at a company her parents recognize. And I knew it, so I gave her the recommendation to go. Although she was one of our better employees. So I get it. I get it. I mean, what do I do? Like, I do so much. I do a million dollars in ad spend across uh, YouTube, AdWords, and we, we do Bing too. I don't talk about Bing, but we do it. Um, and yeah, I work with some, of the, some huge companies that I'm sure that you guys purchase from once a year, maybe twice a year. Very big item, very big ticket items. So... I get what he's doing. I get what Wedge is doing. I, I know why the videos have to come out out when they do. I know why the videos have to have the tone and why the persona is the way it is. It's just marketing. It is 100% marketing. And the I'm going to make a video where I look at Tolarian's video and I break down exactly what he's saying. And tell you how that we, it would work in a nonprofit, for instance, because he's kind of putting himself out there as a nonprofit charity. That's the video. Anyway, very interesting opinions, uh, but at least they're mine, right? Bye, guys.